This is a Bolt yacht, 37 grand, on a very windy day, but this is actually an intriguing boat because what they've done with this is given a tremendous amount of accommodation and a tremendous amount of boat generally, in fact, for the price. Now, it's an inland and coastal boat. It's not a fast boat, it's deliberately so. It's designed for gentle cruising in rivers, estuaries, along the coast. And we'll talk about the engine and performance as we go around. But what is most impressive about this is just how much space they've got into a 37-foot boat. So we're going to go on board. I'll just mention, first of all, we've got the bathing platform here and the ladder. It's a tunnelled prop on this, which means the draft is down to less than a metre, which means that you can really get into some shallow waters with this. They've put a useful deck locker here for various bits and pieces of gear, and there's a gas locker as well, and that's this fella just here. And you can see you've got access straight up to the side deck. So we're going to go this way. The covers are all on at the moment for obvious reasons, because <laughs> it's looking like it's going to chuck it down with rain. So what we'll do is we'll take a loop around the inside first of all and I'll show you around the decks. But with this canopy what you can do is you can take off sections or roll sections up as we've done here in fact. So that you can have this just as a bimini or you can fold the whole lot down. And in fact with the canopy folded down the air draft is such that this will go through all of the French canals. So that is quite a useful feature. Now we've got the aft deck here. It's actually above the aft cabin. And as you can see you've got seating all the way around to the table. But what you can do with this is drop the table down and make that into a really nice lounging area. And there's also storage underneath all these as well. There's a lot of storage on this boat, actually. It's a very practical boat. We've got a zip door on this side, so you can have just that up if you want to. It rolls up and, and clips on with these fellows. And then there's a little sink and a fridge over here. You can have a hob there as well if you want to, but this is probably the better arrangement. Helm is up here, just a single helm on this boat, because obviously it's quite sheltered by this canopy and this whole system. So it means that it frees up accommodation downstairs. You can have a lower helm if you want and I'll show you where that goes but this is what most people would opt for. Bow and stern thruster on this one. It's a single engine and we'll talk about that and I'll show you that. Multifunction display is underneath here and then just the basic you know pumps and wipers and lights and that kind of thing along here and that seat also will spin around so if you want to use that as a little armchair when you're stationary and join the party you can do. Okay let's head on inside. I think you're going to be quite surprised by this. Okay, bear in mind it's a 37 foot boat because there's good accommodation in here. So we'll head on down and the first thing we find is this saloon area and what you can have is a lower helm over here but as I say most people don't bother because the visibility is so much better from that aft deck and it is a protected helm with the canopy. Seating but as you can see all the way around here and again this table will drop down so if you want to use that for sleeping you can do. And then with this area here, which is where the lower helm would go if you had it, what it does give you instead is a massive amount of storage. So all those infill cushions and that kind of thing, it's a great big void there for them. So that's a really useful cupboard. Opposite that is the galley. This is intriguing because this is actually a gas hob. I've never seen a gas hob like that before. That's fantastic. And a gas oven then, if I release the little catch, <laughs> there we go underneath and I think that's a grill as well. We've got the fridge here, we've got storage here. There's a lot of storage around the boat on this one and then you've got the sink as well. Big windows in here as well, you've got the opening sections that slide. So plenty of light. All very good. Let's head on forward. So switch panel up here for batteries and heating and that kind of stuff and then we head on down here this is the forward cabin now it's a pretty decent sized bed obviously it narrows up as you go into the forepeak so you sleep with your shoulders and head at this end and your feet down that end you can if you prefer have this brought out wider you can option a wider bed but that's that's a pretty decent size um, decent headroom in here as well actually as you go around that's that's pretty good and we've got the hatch in here as well and the hull windows, as you can see, and AV equipment. Again, tons of storage. So it's underneath here, it's in here. Hanging locker is just here. And we've got more of the distribution switches here, so fridges and water pumps and that sort of thing are switched from there. That little chap there is the um, 
control for inverters and, and chargers and all that kind of stuff. It's all configured from there. And in fact, you can open this and it accesses one of the service areas so you can get to some of the wiring. And in fact, that there is the inverter, that little blue chap. Now this has its own ensuite. That's in here. And what's nice is they've given both of the en suites proper separate shower areas. Again, I keep coming back to it, but it's a 37 foot boat. So that's pretty rare for both heads to have that. I've seen 45 foot boats that don't have that. So that can close off completely. So that is a decent shower. And then you've got, of course, your loo over here and your sink and a bit of storage underneath. And then the window is a blind that drops down over that. And that square darker section is an opening section. So that's your forward cabin. Quite a decent sort of footprint here as well, actually. Plenty of place to stand and change and so forth. If we head on back, and I turn my phone to silent so it doesn't keep bleeping, hang on. You'd think I'd have a hang of this by now, wouldn't you? Okay, let's head on back. Load more storage down in all of these. I won't open them all, but just to give you an idea, these are big drawers. And then there's storage in behind here so you can put glasses and crockery and all that kind of stuff and it's down here as well. Even areas like this they've put little bits, little bits of storage into. Battery switches are down there and then we've got two doors here. This one is into the cabin, this one's into the day heads which is also an ensuite. So I'll show you that. But yeah, check that out. That's a pretty decent size, isn't it? So drawers are in here. And what's quite nice is they put shelving down here as well. Look at this. And you've also got decent sized windows in here, so you've got good view out and plenty of light. Bit more shelving along there, bit more storage along here. And a big square double bed. Well, rectangular, isn't it? <laughs> but you know what I mean, it doesn't taper. And then this is the door through to the heads, which is also from here. So it can be a day heads, can be an ensuite to this cabin. Again, you've got your separate shower. That closes off. And then you've got this area here with the loo and the basin, bit of storage underneath. A little bit of a wave in the mirror. And that's that door there. Fantastic, this boat would make a great liverboard, wouldn't it? Let's have a look in here. Ah, hanging locker. I wondered about that because there isn't one in this cabin. So that's where you could put this stuff there. Okay, engine then, single engine on this one because as I mentioned right at the beginning, it's designed for lower speed use. So coastal cruising, inland cruising, that kind of stuff. And so what we have in here, there's a range of engine options, but this one has got a Yanmar 100 horsepower diesel. And in fact, if I step over here, without falling in, <laughs> I'll be able to show it to you a bit better. There we go. So that's giving the boat about 10 knots flat out, and 8 knots is a very comfortable cruising speed. But if you drop back to 4 knots, which is the sort of speed you do on a river, it's using about 2 litres an hour. So very, very economical running. I mean, what's that? That's probably less than three pounds an hour, isn't it, in diesel. So uh, it also means, of course, that you eke out an awful lot of range from the fuel tank. So I think the range for Ember Riley is about 500 miles at that sort of speed, which means for most people inland, they probably only fill up once a year. That's fantastic. Battery is in here. This is the tank, fuel tank. And you've got a uh, raw water strainer where you can reach it and so forth. And you can get right in and around that, look, because it is a single engine, of course. Very good. OK, last thing to talk about then is the decks. Let's drop that one back down. Pop that one down. And we're going to have one around the outside. Now, this might get a bit breezy, <laughs> so bear with. It is absolutely blowing a howling gale down here at Southampton Boat Show, but never mind. We crack on. One thing to mention is these solar panels. And they were telling me that here at the show, they're running the lights in the fridge without being plugged into shore power at all. They're just running it all from the solar panels, which is interesting. 
decent side decks on this one and decent high rails as well so it's a comfortable boat to walk around as those solar panels and there's that sliding hatch that's above the saloon area that's tv aerial over here and we've got uh, nav lights as well dotted around the place and what they've done here is they've created another nice little zone in the boat so you've got cushions to go on here they're not on at the minute <laughs> it looks like it's about to pour rain the cushions go on here as well and then there's a table that goes on here and you can sit around here makes another nice zone on the boat or take that leg out and there's an infill cushion that goes in and this makes a nice big sun pad and in fact the table itself is in there ready to go and you can walk all the way around i'm not going to at the minute because they've taken their flag down quite wisely <laughs> and put it down here but yeah these side decks go all the way around so this takes us right back to that bathing platform where we came on in the first place but that i think is a lot of boat for the money you could have a lot of fun with that and as I say, as a liverboard, brilliant. OK, let's come back down here. Can you hear that wind? I've got a whole week of this. <laughs> Stand by for some windy boat tours. Windy as in, you know, weather, not windy boats. I know what I mean. That's about the size of that. Massive thanks to Brain Marine Sales for organising that tour. I've been wanting to look at one of these for a little while. I'm glad to finally get on board of it. Let me know what you think of that in the comments and we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.